whenever I was making this next video that is about to come up, I realized that I had been around the internet for a long time. Starting my channel up in 2010, it is an amazing thing to see how this has come from the amount of subscribers I've obtained throughout that many years of it and busting my ass to get to that level of support. Honestly, without any words, I humbly thank everybody that has attended these videos, attended the streams that I've done, and watched the channel grow from what it was to what it is now. So, without any words, like, from the bottom of my heart, thank y'all for keeping this channel afloat. Being around for 13 years, it's really an interesting feat to see. So, with that said and done, once again, thank you to everybody that has attended these videos, new subscribers, old subscribers, everybody that watches it. Thank you, for the bottom of my heart. And now, let the video play. Variety. This is the quality or state of being different or diverse, or the absence of uniformity, sameness, or monotony. But, in the simplest of terms, variety is the quality or state of having different forms or types. Usually, if people say that they're variety, they do a lot of different things with it. Like, take for example, Darkside Phil claiming himself to be a variety streamer when he just streams the same games over and over and over, not providing much variety. Take for example, Street Fighter 6. He wants to say that he streams a variety of times with different characters when he goes back to the same characters over and over and over again and not wanting to learn the other ones. So he went back to playing as Zangief and uh, oh boy, there's a lot of salt to be had. Now guys, listen, I, I really appreciate the tips, but I will be honest with you, in the last month, there's been a lot of focus on tips, but a lot of the other support has kind of dipped and fallen by the wayside. Things Because you wanted people to give you tips instead of super chats and memberships, but then as you realized that your membership goals were going down, that's when you started panicking and you were like, Dude, guys, we need to work on our memberships. Uh, super chats are nice too, but I really need those tips. Such as the super chats and the memberships. And the tips are great short term, but I know for a fact... Short term, aka WWE Champions when Hogan comes a knocking. If I get paid this month in July, it's going to be less. And I don't want to have like multiple months of, of you know, uh, you know, basically a decline there. So please remember, those other things are important too. Phil, your channel has always been on the decline. You're now panicking a little bit more while providing Street Fighter because you believe that people are more interested in that game instead of fucking Final Fantasy 16, Diablo 4, Tears of the Kingdom, or any other game that comes out. But then, as soon as the big releases come out, you push that out and you're like, okay guys, this is my game I'm going to be playing for the full day, my full two streams are going to be nothing but this game, and you're expecting people to toss money at you again. You know, the day one view tips. Alright, not that I'm saying that I'm upset or I'm not. Yet you're freaking out about it. For someone that's not worried about money, they wouldn't be freaking out like that. Just saying, please, just a little reminder. The tips are great, but, uh... Hint, hint, tips are mandatory. Hint, hint. Uh, it'd be great, you know, if you like the channel, ongoing support with a membership is a great way to do it. Or again, today, we're gonna have a lot of viewers, likely. And not really. As soon as a lot of people started dipping out, he hasn't been retaining a lot of memberships or a lot of viewers, so... Phil is panicking at this point, because he knows that his channel is on life support, so he really needs people to give him that inorganic growth with memberships and try to give him money as quickly as possible. In just a few minutes here, we're gonna have way more viewers as people realize I'm playing, and, uh, you know, gifted member. Not really. He's not looking for new viewers. He's actually looking for people... Like his recurring fans. He's hoping Drax Raxer comes in. And he's, I'm not going to lie, he's actually hoping for detractors to show up. So, hi, Philip. You suck at Street Fighter. Memberships is a great way to help the channel in general and everyone else, too. It's not just about me, it's about everyone that benefits from it, right? Who benefits from this, Phil? Nobody is benefiting from this. The only one that's benefiting from it when people give you money is you. Giving you fucking members, giving you the super chats. None of your fucking community is getting any of this money or support. Instead, it's all going to you. All right, everyone. It is time for ranked play. And today... <laughs> this isn't going to go well for him. Hey, I'm starting off with Zangief. I've been studying a little bit of tech online, watching some videos. We'll see how I do here today. With You're not going to do well. This Luke is going to demolish you. The Geefster. Who calls him the Geefster? 
Like, who calls him this name? It just sounds like a really bad sex term. Oh, never mind on Luke. We're going straight into DJ. It's been a while since I've seen DJ. I can't. Why can't I fucking block? <laughs> because you're. Oh, I don't know. Not pushing the stick back. Hey, don't block anything. Okay. Well, of course not. You're not blocking or parrying. So you getting hit is completely justified. Literally, he just kept rushing and crushing punch. I couldn't fucking block it consistently. Phil, you were charging in, rushing in to do the throws that Zangief is known for. DJ got smart and started to do his air juggle combo by the kicks. So, this DJ knows what he's doing. Stupid. Block, you fucking piece of shit. Come on now. Come on! At that point, you know how Phil said in the last one that it was on him? That he's complaining about him not suck, like doing well at the game? Him not doing well? <laughs> I don't know why I'd do that, but still. He's complaining about the joystick not recognizing the blocks now. So, it's when he says that he's not blaming the equipment, like someone called him out for doing so, he's doing that. He's blaming his equipment on shit that he could have easily done, but he didn't. Oh, mashing random super! Fucking stupid. Now you win. Dumb. Ooh, double. That's just a perfected, man. I heard he got double perfected, but this is one of the perfects that he got. God damn. Dumb, because I can't fucking get my move to reverse what he's doing. It's fucking stupid shit. Mindless rushdown. Fucking no timing. Just mindless pattern rushdown. I can't get around it. They know what they're doing every time they go up against you. Anytime someone plays a DJ, Cammy, Luke, Jamie, Jury, they know exactly what they're doing, Phil. Instead, you're going, oh, they're just, they're just doing the random touch patch patterns here. Oh. Annoying. Well, Phil, you're clearly annoying, but the salt that comes out of your mouth is just mwah, pure gold. Blocking, come on. No, you're not. Stop blaming the equipment. That's what I want. Block the fucking hit string. Jeez. No, Phil, you didn't block the hit string. You used a move against him. You threw him in the 360 neutral. Jesus. Blocking. Come on. Whining, like always. Such amazing gameplay for a DSP gaming. <laughs> not really. That was 360, and it would've No, it didn't work, because this distance was too safe from DJ to Zangief. Work! It came out. Why am I getting hit? I don't know what he was doing, because I didn't fucking do it. Uh, I don't know. You tried rushing in, the DJ went backwards, and then went in for the rush attack when the, your animations were done. So, like I said, DJ, or Guapo, knows exactly how to play DJ. Now I'm done. Fucking ridiculous nonsense. But I don't get mad. I don't scream. I don't rage at Street Fighter. What What are you doing, Phil? Ridiculous. What do I do? <laughs> you, um, I, I don't know. Get good? I'm tired of it. I'm tired of getting a little pattern bullshit. I don't know how to get around the pattern. Why? Come on. Here we go again. Because you're in the corner, Phil, as mentioned before, anytime you go into the corner or you're stuck in the corner, you don't know how to react to anything. So it gives your opponent a lot of time to hit on you, flail out and just do massive damage on you. And you don't know what to do. Once you do figure it out, it's like a rarity. But you never seem to understand that at all. Amazing that that goes over you in the corner and there's nothing you can do to punish it. Phil, 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 Phil. Hi. Right. Come on, here we go again. Yeah, here we go again. Look at that. You see that? Look, he did kicks, he did a move, and he jumped over you. You see that right there? He jumped over you, leaving him right there. So your level two super did <laughs> nothing. Amazing that that goes over you in the corner and there's nothing you can do to punish it. Well, he could have punished it, but if he attacked, you would have gotten hits on him. So he was waiting for you to finish. 
So, again, Guapo knows how to play DJ. So what the fuck do I do every time he does it? It's free, he gets it for no for nothing. Ah, uh, he earned it, Phil. He was smart, saw what you were doing, and got behind you. It's like that JP player that you claimed didn't earn anything. The guy teleported, got you from behind, and did massive damage to you. You don't seem to understand that if people get behind you, you're immediately fucked. Like, he literally just gets to do it, and I can't do anything about it, and it fucking drives me nuts. You fucking didn't outplay me. You just kept doing this crossover over and over. I don't know what... Why does it go over me? And I have no options to stop it. First of all, Phil, he did outplay you. He out clearly showed you that he is very skillful with DJ, and he knew exactly what he was doing. Number two, there was not a goddamn thing you could do with that level two super. Once it hit and he was already behind you, there was nothing you could fucking do. Instead, it gave DJ plenty of opportunities to attack on you and win. So again, GG's to Guapo. It just goes over me no matter what. Can't do anti-air super, can't do spinning clothesline, can't do regular anti-air, and everything just stuffs it. Because you don't know how to play as Zangief. You kept saying in your stupid podcast that you liked playing as Lily, Zangief, and Blanca. Calling them your fun factor characters when they don't provide any fun with it though. You spam Lily's EX Condor th dive, her throws, and her supers. Blanca, you just spam his fucking Blanca Ball, the Blanca Chon, and the throws. Zangief, you just spam anything that comes out of that fucking fight pad, I guess. I don't know how the fuck to get around it. It's frustrating when you don't know how to beat a basic tech like that. It's like, dude, you didn't outplay me. You just did the same thing 17 times, and I don't know how to get around that one thing. Phil, you did the same move a lot throughout that match, and you became completely predictable. This DJ outplayed you and mixed it up with his moves. Sure, the game didn't say mix-up or reversals, but he mixed it up. He beat you. Also, it looks like a Dalsium. And it's been a while since we've seen a Dalsium match, and also a very competent ranked match. You know, without any ping going up high. Yeah, I have no clue what to do with this. You see what... Bidet my <laughs> God damn these fucking names. But anyways, what Bidet my A just did is played Dalsim well. That is how you're supposed to play Dalsim. But you did not seem to realize that and you got your ass demolished while using Dal Dalsim. So kudos to Bidet my A. I'm just gonna call him Bidet. I'm not gonna say the rest of that. Fight, so I'm just gonna lose it by default. I have no clue how to fight this fight. You don't know how to fight against Dalsim because you never come across a lot of Dalsims. It's usually Cammy, Jamie, Jury, Ken, Ryu's even, and Marisa's. There's a lot of other characters you have come across, but not really much of Dalsim. It's really fucking off your game. He's gonna stand back there. I can't get to him. Well, that's the thing with Dalsim, though. His arms, his stretchy arms that goes against you, yeah... He's good at distance. His only negative drawback to it is that the animation takes a while. That's the only downside of Dalsim. I have no clue, so it's a guaranteed loss because I don't know the match at all. Well, that Dalsim exactly knew what to do, baited you with the fire, then got you with the punch. So, GG's to Bidet. How do I get in on him? I have no idea. I know nothing of the matchup whatsoever. I'm well, I'm going to tell you this right now. You try going for a drive impact, took damage from the fireball. As soon as that drive impact mi like missed, Dalsim got you with a low jab. Pretty smart play. I'm not going to lie. Trying to learn it on the fly in a ranked match. <laughs> well, that's your problem, Phil. You're going straight into ranked. You're not going to casual like you did the last time with Ryu. Instead, you're getting overly cocky, thinking that you're really good with Zangief when you're really not. And you're thinking you're going to get these massive wins. But you're going up against people who are in the Platinums and they're kicking your ass. And you're losing your rank slowly but surely. Oh 
one counter hit from mid screen. Dash cancel. Well, yeah, this cart person clearly knows how to play DJ, and you got demolished. That DJ came back with the clutch. Compliment the player. Come on. Of course. Of fucking course. Of course. I'm trying to use my drive impact and mash theirs right back. Uh. That, was that would have been a good combo, but it was kind of dropped. But I'll commend this DJ for the effort. Level three. Oh my god. No dash cancel. Interesting. Can't block. What the fuck? I don't know what's going on. Come on. You know, the funny thing about this DJ is that he could have overkilled it with the critical art, but he didn't. So I'll commend him that. I did wake up throw so much earlier. It came out super fucking late. No, it did not, Phil. No, it did not. He gets to do a neutral jump punish. The thing is, the things he's hitting me with, he's not intending. He's just getting lucky. He's randomly jumping over what I decide to do. Phil, how in the fuck do you know that this was not planned or unintentional hits on you? Oh, right. You don't, because every single time you play as a character and they do something going against the grain of what you're expecting to happen, you immediately get angry and you get salty that you're expecting them to stand there and you wail on them like they're a fucking punching bag. But once that punching bag fights back, oh my god, what am I gonna do? He's randomly gets a neutral jump over a move I didn't intend to do. Okay. <laughs> I love the way Kid just looks at the face like, please don't hurt me. I'm not gonna do anything to you. I'm not gonna fuck you up that hard, I promise. He keeps interrupting my super armor, so what do I do when he does that? I don't know what happened here. He crossed me up. I don't know. I yes, he did, Phil. He caught you off guard with a jump and got you with the mix-up throw. So, this Ken knows exactly what to do. And remember how I said he wasn't going to fuck you up that much? I, I take that back. He's going to fuck you up plenty. I don't know what to do. He used to use hit strings that interrupt the super armor that you're supposed to stop rushdown with. So, what do I do to it? Yes, Phil. He's seeing the attack motions. He could see the frames. This Ken could clearly see the frames. You clearly can't, even with those gunner glasses that you can claim you see the lag with. They're not doing you much wonders, Phil. Go to a shaman, what you claimed as a shaman, to get that fucking enchanted. Maybe you could see the frames a little bit better. <laughs> How disgusting. Why, why does he think that this is a good idea to go into the mic? It's like, Phil, quit it. We know Tyrone's, like, little juices are down his throat, but come on. I know Hulk Hogan's could wash it down quickly. Couldn't block. That's it. Couldn't block the midstream. Wouldn't let me. Nope, definitely wouldn't let you, and you're doing the... <sighs> you know those hands from Clone High? He's doing the hands, but he's doing it very stupidly. He's not doing the confused hands. He's just doing the pig hands, holding up his hooves in the air like... Guys, I don't get it. What What the hell? Was I outplayed? I don't know. Yes, yes, you were. I couldn't do anything. Can't do anything. It's all safe. Can't do a damn thing about it. How is it all safe, Phil? How in the unholy fuck is that all safe? That looked pretty risky to me. Because if he dropped that combo, you could come right back and do massive damage to Ken. So, clearly, this is a risky play. Safe would be in a corner from a distance, just throwing Hadoukens at you or fireballs at you, and they get the win. So that's considered safe, in my opinion. Right, just keep jumping. I can't do anything about it, because you can. It beats everything I do. Phil, all the characters jump. Hell, Cammy, Jury, chun leave. you'd get them jumping, and they use the kicks right away? Oh god, it does massive damage. But no, it's Ken. He can jump. <sighs> Fucking Ken. <laughs> Fuck Ken. He's a grappler. Yeah. Of course he goes over. Then, come on, man. Fucking random jumping. 
Come on, man! Come on, man! I'm a scrub! That was EX360! What did it even give me? I don't even know! Uh, it didn't give you anything, Phil. It didn't give you anything. Except it gave Ken the combo going into, in your words, Random Level 3 Super! Mashed it! And even though this Ken clearly outplayed you. I did EX360 to interrupt his hit string. I get the wrong fucking move and I lose 60% damage. Come on! Yeah, you lost all the health, guys. Get good? Of course! Wow, you really earned it! Yes, he did, because you tried throwing, Ken went backwards, and you were left open. Can't block it from mid-screen. It doesn't block that from mid-screen. No, because you got outplayed with it. You're expecting him to attack high, he attacked low, beating you. So, GG's to Ken. It's too fast to block on reaction. Yeah, this also, I like that guy's name of Outer Heaven. Nice callback to Metal Gear Solid, Peace Walker. Suck. I, I'm playing well, and I've got combos down, but they just do basic shit, and the basic shit beats Zengi. What? The, wait, wait, wait. How is all that shit, from the DJ, to the Ken, to that Dalsim, how in the holy, holy fuck is that all basic shit that they're beating you with, but you're trying to do advanced techniques with Zangief, and you're losing? Phil, you're not doing anything. In fact, it's the quite fucking opposite. You're doing try or attempting to do basic shit with Zangief, but everybody else that's playing up against you, they're using techniques that you cannot avoid or block. So they're clearly beating you with this skill, outplaying you every single time. You're just being a salty baby. Like, just keep jumping on him. God damn, it's been like seven minutes. This video's like 21 minutes. God damn. Well, I have nothing that stops you up here. So if I keep blocking, he's just going to do a throw mix up. And there's Oh, I don't know. You can use an anti-air. You know what the name implies? There's nothing I can do. Why does Ken have 17 different hit strings he can do safe and I can't ever interrupt any of them? Like, when is he open? Yeah, Phil is being very, very overdramatic with this. Over-exaggerating every single thing that his opponents are doing and trying to make it look like I think he's the victim. <laughs> God damn, man. This is the salt that we live for. I need to, to start knowing now. I need to, to see, like, when is Ken open in these bullshit hit strings? Because I get the feeling I can get around them, but I don't know how. Game Tracker, the videos that you sent me about Ken, they all sucked. I can't learn, man. Like, when is the timing to counter hit what he's doing so that he doesn't get away with endless fucking amounts of hit strings that should not be safe? You know what I'm saying? Like, bullshit that he, I know he's doing unsafe stuff, but I just don't have the knowledge to stop it yet. Phil, you never have the knowledge. Even if you did have the knowledge, you don't retain it. Instead, it goes away. So, it kind of makes me wonder, has the dementia already progressed already? Now, instead of all timers going straight into dementia, it's clear to stay that it's becoming that. It's dumb, because you think it should be easy to figure out, but it's not. Phil, every opponent that you fight will never be easy to figure out. You can't get a good read on them unless you play them for a long time. Take, for example, this kid. If you would have played him for more than two matches, you probably would have figured him out. But the thing with this, though, is that that will never happen since you're playing ranked as best two out of three. So they're going to move on and beat somebody else up or lose. They're not going to be like you, crying and bitching that they're losing. Instead, they're going to compliment the player and move on. Something that you need to do every once in a while. Because he's got so many variations. I got hit into the low kick, hit into the overhead kick, hit and then wait and then walk forward and throw. What the fuck was up with that little jig? Like, look, no, notice this. Variation. What the I hell is up with this? Low kick, hit into the overhead kick, hit and then wait and then walk forward and throw. What the hell is up with that little dance that he was doing in his chair? Like, is he trying to be funny with that? I mean, granted, it was funny looking, but it was completely unnecessary. There's like 17 options we can. It's all easy mode shit. It's really frustrating. Then why don't you play as Ken if he's so easy? Because, you know, again, did he outplay me? No. Yes. Yes, he did. Every once in a while, he got a random hit. And then once, when he was in the hit string, I tried to interrupt the EX360. It gave me a different move entirely. Because you didn't input the right move, Phil. And he gets a 50% punish combo. Yeah.
because you didn't put in the right input. Oh, what? what's that? Are you going to blame Hori for making a shitty fight pad? Fucking piss me off, man. All right, well, I received a $5 tip. Oh, it pissed me off. Oh, I got money. From Game Shacker. Well, I'm not even surprised at this point. So he says, if you're cornered and you land a drive impact, use Russian suplex, half circle, back plus kick to switch sides with your opponent. If you're, if you are cornered and you land a drive impact, Russian suplex will put them into the corner. Oh. You know, something that Phil could have figured out on his own, but he has people like Game Cooker to tell him every single time about anything Street Fighter related. Telling a Street Fighter pro from a basic noob. So that's a little bit of spacing information there. Okay, thank you, Game Tracker. Yeah, I'm just, at this point, like, certain things are getting ultimately frustrating, and one of them is Ken. Like, again, Ken is easy mode shit. He has so many safe options from that fucking rush down, you know, mid-screen combo. And it's like, okay, when's my turn? I'm sorry. You're saying that Ken is easy mode? I thought you were saying the same thing for, like, besides Ken, Jamie, Cammy, Jury, Chun-Li, Ryu. Fucking all these characters that you made a big bitch fit about because they're too easy and they all play the same. <laughs> what in the fuck is your deal? Well, besides getting a, like a perfect parry, when is my turn to punish these 400 moves he gets to do? Uh, I don't know if you played a quick and nimble character like Cammy or Jury, which I don't think he ever fucking will in this game. He probably would have a chance. But he's playing as a big, slow powerhouse like Zangief. If you know how to perform Zangief's moves well, he can do throws that can break it. But Phil does not know anything about Zangief. But claims he's a fun... <laughs> God damn. He kept saying that he was a fun character. I could not take him seriously. You know, at some point, I've got to be able to hit him. But what is it? When can I 360 him? I want to know. It... Never. You can never do it against the Kens. The grapplers will always get you. So far, this is a very close match. Who's gonna win this? Oh, what? You're telling me she can immediately recover from that move in neutral jump? Come on! Well, Phil, you went in for a throw. Marisa jumped, and you fucking got punished for it. How are you safe after that? Oh, I don't know, because once you try to do a throw, it takes a while for the animation to say, hey, I'm going back to my neutral stance. How are you safe after that? That is bullshit. No, Phil, your gameplay is bullshit. Not everyone else is bullshit. Complete bullshit. No, she should not be fucking safe after that. You should be able to counter punish it. Come. Well, Phil, you fail to realize that Zangief is a slow character. But then again, I think the reason why he likes the slow characters is because Phil is actually slow in real life. Come on. Ridiculous bullshit, man. It really frustrates me. So much of the shit in this game is so safe. Well, Phil, this is your fault for going straight into fucking ranked. Come on. There's got to be risk reward at some point. Phil, there always is risk-reward when it comes to this game. Any single time you're doing a massive combo, there's a massive risk to it. Due to the fact that that could combo could drop at any fucking time, and if that happens, they get risked and they get punished. But if the combo goes through, they get rewarded by giving their opponent massive damage. So, there is risk versus reward here. You're just too stupid to realize it. Oh my god, we're going up against a Luke! No, oh, here we go. Can't get out of the corner. I do like Luke's design, like his second outfit. That's actually a cool design. Not gonna lie, he looks like he's about to go, go play some b-ball later. What happened there? I didn't do anything. You did try to do a rush suplex. And this Luke was clearly not in distance of that. So, you get the idea. Punished. Now he wins. Super cancel. That's actually a pretty good idea. Have him up in the air and do a level one super. He didn't even do anything. Yes, he did, Phil. He outplayed you. Fucking ridiculous luck. Here we go. Random hit. Oh, look. 
Oh, you're so good. This Luke clearly knows what they're doing. End line combos. <laughs> oh my god, is this a fucking name that's going up against Phil, or is this a real name? Because either or. <laughs> <laughs> nice jab at Phil. I'm, I'm sorry. Oh, I still can't do anything. Still getting counter hit. Every move I attempt. Can't do anything. They're using online combos. Attempt is a counter hit. Every move I attempt is a counter hit mix up. Phil, you're in the corner. That's the problem. You're in the fucking corner. There's no shit they're going to do a lot of damage on you. Didn't you listen to Game Trekker when it comes to advice? Oh, wait, no. It's always the advice's fault. Every fucking move I attempt is a counter hit mix up. Wow, that was super fun. <laughs> yes, it was. Online combos beat you. Pattern play bullshit. Well, then again, Phil, you tried doing the same thing with pattern plays, but it looks like scrub tactics every single time. But these people doing pattern plays, and it's actually skillful. Oh, no, they're automatically being scrubby. Of course I can't punish. Why should I be able to punish Luke, right? Even though he does completely unsafe stuff. Ah, can't do anything about it. No, Phil, he's actually doing a lot of unsafe stuff. He really is. Because any time, you could have rushed in and do a suplex, but you didn't. No, nope, he's safe. He's still safe. Also, you gotta keep in mind that now Luke is burnt out, so he is definitely playing risky here. You could do a lot of things to counter it, but no, you, you won't. <laughs> See, like that, a fucking throw. But that's not gonna do anything. <laughs> No, I did 360. Counter hit. I did 360. Counter hit. That's exactly a good move to do in the corner. If your opponent's in the corner, you could constantly do throws. So this Luke definitely knows what they're doing. <laughs> yeah, this is stupid. How is it stupid? This Luke is clearly whooping your ass with a lot of good techniques. You're offering nothing. This is fucking stupid. <laughs> Memology, as much as I love to agree with you that he should just let it go, he'll hold a petty grudge for no reasons. Just because he's a narcissist. Oh, I didn't move nothing. You heard me do it. I did it. Now I'm done. That's the end of the game. Level three. Fucking ridiculous, dude. Yeah, level three that he completely whiffed. So you could have a chance to do some damage, but you're not. And there was ample opportunity for you to get some massive damage while your opponent's in the corner, but you completely dropped it! I'm fucking wasting my time. Then why'd you play this game, Phil? You could've, oh, I don't know, finished Diablo 4 with that shitty audio. And other games, played some Final Fantasy 16. Oh wait, no, you can't do that because the game bores you. It really is, it's a waste of my time. Fucking stupid. And you're expecting people to throw money at you. Oh, wait, no, no. Got it. You're saying that it's a waste of time. That way people can give you money. Be like, no, Philip, it's not a waste of time. Here, here's here's a thousand dollars because you deserve it. Even though he clearly fucking doesn't. Just keep, it seems like neutral jump beats almost everything Zangief has. Like nothing. Anything could beat Zangief. You just don't know how to play him. You have to wait for the, for the punish. You can't actually just have fun trying to play your game. You have to wait for them to fuck up. Phil, you're playing in ranked. You're never going to have fun because you're going to get your ass kicked by the more competent players. And then counter hit them. There's no way to actually like legitimately get solid hits because they have to be making a mistake. Everything else is jump out of. Like easily jump out of. Well, yeah. Like always. Oh God, salt. Oh God, I don't think my doctor told me that to have a lot of salt. Oh, it's up against Guile. Every single time that Phil has, like, the best soul, it's always up against Guile. So we already know we're living in America when Guile's kicking Phil's ass. That was actually beautiful. What, do I, what am I supposed to do to get in here? You see right there what Guile is doing? That's playing it safe, and now he's being risky, so he's doing good. Istan Lit is a great name, and also Sonic Boomers, oh god. Catchy play on words, I like that. Goodbye. 
I can't block on reaction. Well, you had a good chance to do some parrying there, but, uh, eh. Ooh, that's one perfect already. Dude, this is absolutely ridiculous at this point. I can't do anything. I can't get in on anyone. No, you couldn't do anything with Guile because this Guile is playing it safe, but also mixing it up by playing it unsafe. So this Guile clearly knows what to do. Every button I push is, I'm open, they're completely safe. Phil, you jumped and you didn't even do anything. You just let him hit you. You're like a big old punching bag. I can't believe you just jumped right into that sonic boom. What's wrong with you? <laughs> Get doubled, bitch! I couldn't do anything. The game would not allow me to react. <laughs> no, Phil, this is not the game's fault. <laughs> God damn, this is not the game's fault. This is clearly a skill issue. You got double perfected by the true patriotic hero. What the hell? See what I mean? Like, okay, I can't even react to full screen sonic boom. Yes, you could. You could have blocked, but you jumped or you tried rushing and you got hit. It doesn't work. What happened there? My aerial move doesn't come out. See, Phil, there was ample opportunity for you to get away from that. You could have went, ducked, like, dashed backwards, blocked it, jumped over it, but instead you sat there and took it. Can't do anything. Can't get around Sonic Boom. No, because you're standing there and taking it. What the fuck? He just does drive impact. It needs to be clean. Nothing I can do about it. Yes, because you're trying to do a certain move and you didn't even counter it with a drive impact yourself. That's how you could have done something, but you clearly didn't. I can't get around fucking. I can't do it. I can't get around Sonic Boom. Yes, you could. You could block it or jump over it, but Zangief doesn't really have a good jump. Of course. Why? Why can't I 360 him? Because you're not, well, I don't know, putting in the inputs. That was actually a good kick into Sonic Boom. Not gonna lie, that was a very good one. It's ridiculous. You gotta work so hard and he just fucking stands there throwing Sonic Booms the whole round. I can't oh man, you gotta break a sweat in order to fight up against that guy. It's Stan Lit more like it's Stan Goddamn. Do anything about it. I mean, Zangief, again, I like the character, but it seems like every game, they make him harder to play with. How the fuck am I supposed to do anything in this game? Zangief is more of those characters that's a powerhouse. He's slow, but once you get the timing of him right, he can do massive fucking damage. But the problem is that you're expecting him to be quick and nimble. If you want a quick and nimble character, Phil, just go play Jury, Cammy, Ken, even Jamie. But you don't want to because you hate those characters. Dalsim, JP, Skyle, and they all just stand back, right? Well, yeah, because they have projectiles. Say, but then again... Dalsim's thing is that he has a long reach. It takes a while for it to go through, but he's pretty good at that. If you want to bring up anyone with, like, projectiles, oh, then for the love of God, Guile, JP, fucking Ryu, Ken, Chun-Li, all those have fucking projectiles. There are many more characters that have projectiles. Even fucking fuck Blanca has them. But Jesus Christ, man, you're just making up excuses because you're being a salty little bitch boy. And then the other characters are always in your face rushing down. It's like you never have a chance. Well, yeah, because this game has a different variety when it comes to its roster. So I'll give Street Fighter 6 this. They did really good with this roster. You have to always wait for a giant mistake or you're fucked, right? It's very salty, but it also has this like sour flavor to it. It does.
Yep, that's exactly Phil's gameplay right now. I have this aftertaste in my mouth. Ugh. That just, it's not going away. It's a lingering saltiness in my mouth. That is just not very pleasant. That's exactly Phil's gameplay. Using past Phil's analogy to this. If Phil was ever a fucking dish, he has the appearance, like, the way that he tries to dress himself up, he tries to present it, like, on the fucking, like, chalkboard. That's a really nice dish. But when it's served out to you, it's not presented very well. And once you take a bite out of it, there's a sour and salty taste to it. So, yeah, and also, oh, God, he's wearing a Nazi hat. God damn it. Now that time, my move didn't come out because it didn't say counter hit. I did No, you didn't even do anything, Phil. You could have escaped the throw, but you didn't. You did low shore. Nothing. Nope. And clearly this Blanca, who isn't you, aka Mason, he's doing a good job. Again, he mashed drive impact. How did he mash it? It looked like he just used it once. That's twice in a row he mash drive impact. Hey, look, Phil. It looks like this Blanca knows how to play Blanca. What I can do? What am I supposed to do? Oh, Jesus Christ. I have no options. <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ. I had to keep that going. Sorry. Yeah, stunned. A tea bag. Fuck, dude. What the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, you're in the corner. Got you with a really good throw, and uh, you lost. GGs. This is unbelievable. This is unfucking believable, dude. Jump back, roundhouse. Oh, he holds it and doesn't do it, so I can't hit him, even though he's point blank in my face. Phil, I thought you would appreciate this player for showing you how to play Blanca well, but clearly not. I have no clue what to do in the corner with Zangie. Every time I get cornered with Zangie, it's over. Didn't Game Trekker give you a fucking piece of advice with Zangief? How is it that you completely fucking ignored that advice? I have no idea what the options are supposed to be. Parry is worthless. He has no good anti-air there because they can neutral jump and it whiffs. Parries are good if you're good at timing them right. The anti-airs, granted, Zangief doesn't really have good anti-airs, but can do really good throws. You need to learn those. But, oh, right. This is Dark Side Phil we're talking about. He does not know how to do that at all. Hey, look, it's Ryu, that one character that you really suck at? Oh, parries are useless. He uses the parry. In one head, but I want to stand fierce. That's it. A bunch of random moves from mid range all beat what I do. Easy mode win for Ryu. Didn't you say that that was what Ryu is good at with those techniques? Phil, Ryu is good with techniques, and thank you for people that have corrected me on this. I kept saying that Ryu is not a good character, so I stand corrected. I do apologize. So. He is good when it comes to his normals and his techniques. Ryu is very good at that. The problem is that you don't know how to execute Ryu's moves. But if everyone else uses Ryu, they're being scrubs. Even though you are the god among scrubs. Easy mode win for Ryu. <laughs> Jesus Christ, that weird fucking numbers that he has. But yeah, goddamn. I move. Also, that 147, that's clearly inflated. I'm not gonna lie. It is. In the middle of me hitting, he gets driving back. Yes, because he timed it well. That was the same thing that happened with Cammy. Every time you tried doing a drive impact, Cammy would stop at the last moment and get you with theirs. So, again, this Ryu knows exactly what they're doing and punishing you along the way. Amazing. You got it again? Oh my god! Yes, because he knows how to time it right. Something that you don't know about anything about. Timing. He got it again, that's it. Dude. 
Oh, he got me with his random level 3 super. He mashed it. Dude, what the fuck? Wow. He got it twice in a row. Yes, he did. This Ryu is good. KJ is good. He stopped my anti-air clothesline. Even though he wasn't doing anything in the air. Everything he does now stuffs me. Look, every move he does now stuffs me. Well, yeah, because, again, this Ryu is good. See? What's the point of parry? There's no point. After the parry, he gets a hit anyway. Huh. It looks like you did exactly what Game Trigger taught you. You got out of the corner. How can you possibly fuck this up? Oh, right. You barely have any health. My bad. Oh, my God. Punished for the win. Hey, it's Dante Kid. Is it Kente? Here we go. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I will agree with that. That was a very good combo. God damn, this kid knows what he's doing. Pharmacy. God damn, I love the. I love the. Keep loving these names. Every time, you know, single time, he goes up against an opponent. They have a creative name. So good shit. I have no options for any of this. Literally nothing I can do to any of it. Nothing I can do. 100% safe. <laughs> Can't believe you got perfected. But then again, this Ken is really good. Mid-screen combo bullshit and I can't get through it. Because you don't know Jack shit of how to play him. I neutral jumped. I got lucky. Here we go. It's all safe. All this is safe. You can't stop it. Phil, anytime someone uses a combo move like that, it's never going to be safe. It's risky, because if he drops it, you could do punishing damage. Do you even know the difference between safe and unsafe, Phil? He gets to dash, recover from the dash, instantly block. I get a punish. Yeah, this is complete. I don't know how you're supposed to do anything against Ken. I really don't. Especially with a character like Zangief, you have no option. He's never going to be open. He's literally the entire round only going to do mid-screen safe stuff. And how do you get around it with Zangief, who requires them to be making a mistake or to get in range for a throw? You can never do any of this against Ken. Jesus Christ, the excuse is bad. Oh my god, you know how I said he's not a very good variety content creator? He has a very decent variety of excuses here. I don't know how you're supposed to ever come up on Ken and beat him with your Zangi. You could get good, you could try him on the lap. Oh right, you went straight into ranked. My bad. Oh my god, his jump, dude! He jumps out of every setup. You see what I mean? Like, just, it's easy. Wait, what? He. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold it, hold it. Look at that. Look at that. Oh my god, his jump, dude! He jumps out of every setup. You see what I mean? Like, Phil, he only jumped out of that once. <laughs> what the fuck, man? Oh, he was jumping around. Huh. Is that what you saw? Because what we saw, he was on the ground. And you were trying to attack him and it failed. He jumped over you one time. Huh. I didn't think he was jumping all over the place. Like a Mexican jumping bean. It just, it's easy. It's easy to just jump out of everything. Oh, my God, Phil. Oh, my fucking God. If this was still in the Tariki game roster, oh my god. People would be so fucked up right now. Oh, that's it. Jump and hit you clean. And now you're burnt out because you used up all your drive meter. Surely that didn't go badly at all. <laughs> Dude, there's no strategy to what he does. Phil, 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 Phil. Pharmacy just gave you the pill, and that pill was your ass getting whooped. Matt, jump in, rush in in the corner, and just do the same shit over and over. It's all completely safe against Zangief. I mean, Pharmacy sure gave you some fucking preparation H, because god damn, you're totally fucking butt hurt. Oh, look, he got out of the corner. Now run away like a bitch and throw fireballs from, from far range. Phil, that is what you're supposed to do every single time you get out of the corner. You get yourself at a safe 
distance. If you have fireballs, use them. Try to do some chip damage or try to damage a little bit of the health. That is a smart play. That is what they always do. But if they come to you essentially being baited, then they can do massive damage like that. You seem to think that, oh, they're being little bitches by running away from me. It's like, Phil, they're playing it smart. That is safe. What you're thinking is safe isn't really safe. Because I know Zangief has a hard time getting to them. And then just do the safe mode shit again. There's nothing to it. There's no countering to it. It's basic mode shit. And it's really frustrating to me that Zangief, they really didn't give him tools in this one. They did, Phil. You just don't know how to use them. They did not give him enough tools to combat that kind of gameplay. It's incredibly frustrating. You work your ass off with Zangief trying to get in, trying to get that one moment, and you'll get it, and you'll still lose because they just go back to their easy mode shit and get away with it again. Phil, this is entirely on you. You're the one that picked Zangief. You're the one that thought, I'm going to go straight into ranked with Zangief because I know everything about Zangief, and as soon as you get your ass kicked multiple fucking times, you're immediately going, oh, this is the Capcom's fault. They gave Zangief a lot of bad shit. They didn't give a lot of tools, even though they did. You just don't know how to implement them. Hey, welcome back, my non. Also, cushions. You see, that's actually decent damage from Zangief. Oh, they didn't give him any tools? Uh, his suplexes can do a massive amount of damage. Got me with the overhead. I fall for that every time. Damn. Yeah, whose fault is that? Oh, yeah, you actually said it was your fault. Good. At least you admitted it. Am I suck. Gotta stop falling for that. Phil, you will always fall for it every single time. I jump. I go to kick. She randomly jumps, which wasn't intended. It was just a guess. With each other in midair. Okay. Oh, you get a cross up. What? Yes, she got the cross up. She did good with it. You barely had any health left. Went in for a jump kick and it worked. God damn. Learn to take the loss. We whiffed each other in midair. Why the fuck does she now get a free cross up on land? Because she has a good reach when it comes to her kicks. Complete luck. Sucks, man. It was a good match, but it sucks. It's complete luck. It fucking pisses me off. It completely pisses me off. Wiggles his stick. Oh, now I'm fucked. Now it's a fucking... Keep away. JP is going to completely own me. Oh, JP is going to own you, huh? Huh. <laughs> but no, uh, Benoit Keblanca is definitely going to prove that, right? Of course. Of course. Just jump right out of it. Well, yeah, because that's a pretty good move. It's a jump behind you, or at least attempt to. They always can get behind you because you don't really do anything against that, do you? I didn't do Air 360. And that was completely fucking your fault. I tried Air Jump fucking Roundhouse. It gives me Air 360. Great match. Yes, it is, because it gave us a lot more salt. Oh, of course, just keep jumping, so I can't ever throw this guy. He's going to jump out of everything. Only if the time arises. Right there, he could just dash cancel right behind you if he chose to. Or if any character chose to, but they're not. Why am I getting Air 360 for jumping? Because you're constantly mashing the buttons and waggling the stick. Again, this is on you. What am I supposed to do? He can just keep this fucking around. That's it. Random drive impact. That's it. Every time. How is that random? That did not look random to me. It looked like it was timed nicely. As soon as you're about to land, drive impact does massive damage. You lose. He fucked it up. I couldn't block. Oh, yeah, he fucked up, but yet it's still whooping your ass. Just jab. No skill. And you think you're funny by doing this, Phil? I'm going to tell you a really harsh reality lesson. You're not fucking funny. Go in front of a stand-up comedian. Like, go to a comedy club. Try doing your stand-up there. You would be booed. And as soon as you try to make up excuses, they would laugh at your attempts to make excuses, Phil. 
And then you just shit your pants right in front of the audience, and that's the only laugh you'll ever get. Because you are a joke trying to be taken seriously. <laughs> also, quit bouncing up and down the fucking chair. I get it. You want to ride Hulk Hogan so fucking badly right now. <laughs> and now you're looking at your chat thinking, Oh, they think this is funny. I'm going to keep doing it. You know, because my audience members are fucking children. Amazing. Also, I'm going to tell you another thing, Phil. Jabs are usually good. JP, as somewhat medium as it is, it was a good jab. Cammy, every single time they use their jabs, it's quick and fast. That's the reason why they could win against you. Of course, random drive impact, it's over. It's over. Not gonna lie, that was a very good clutch. Impact. <laughs> drive impact. <laughs> I'm, I'm a loser. I have to play so hard. This guy just fucking stands there. Because that's what JP does. JP is a little bit overpowered, but at the same time, very cheap. But if you can perform it well without going cheap, you know how to do with JP. That's it! Random drive impact! That wasn't random, Phil. That was timed. I can't do anything about it. You can't. Because you have to be ready to dash it. You can't counter the drive impact. Yes, you can, Phil. There's a drive impact counter. Or you can just counter with drive impact. There's a lot of things you could do. Also, blocking, throwing, parrying. It all helps out with drive impact. But you do not implement them. You can't do anything, you're fucked. You're fucked because you don't know how to do it. What happened? So he does the counter, that's great. Why do I do not get anything after it? I'm because you were again attacked and he used a combo move against you? Again, Benoit Blanca knew exactly what to do against you. GG's. I'm stuck and just get hit for free. Fuck, man. This is so frustrating. You leave yourself open for your opponents to hit you for free. So they're doing good on that, and you're not doing anything to counter it or block yourself. So, again, that's on you. Man. The game is so frustrating playing with Zangi. It's such a losing fight against most the characters in the whole game. And I'm losing my win streak against him because Zangi sucks. You're trying so hard, it's like... They do almost nothing, and they just dominate. They're like, Jesus Christ, you have to constantly have them in a lockdown string so you can throw, or you have to counter hit, they have to make a mistake. It's so hard to stay on these fucking people. Which you don't know jack shit about doing. And now you're gonna go up against a Ken. <laughs> I think it's funny. Zangief is going up against Zangief. <laughs> Goddamn, love the names. I can't block it. You can't block it on when you see it. Oh my god, it hit him. I can't believe that shit hit him. Hey, you got lucky. And you think that that's skill. I never thought it would. His punch beats mine. He did standing medium, I did low medium. His standing medium beat my low medium clean. Yes, because Ken is quicker than Zangief. Has that not crossed your mind at all? What was I supposed to do? I'm doing my my good mid-range move. His just beats it clean. It wasn't really good, Phil, because you didn't do any damage on him, did you? Ash Dragon. That was level two reversal super. Yeah, you're claiming that that's one thing, but when we see it, it's not. Now I can't, that's it. Can't block. Hail Mary, what else am I going to do? Yeah. Jesus Christ, Phil, what the fuck? Using your critical art and you didn't do anything with it. God damn, you are bad. That's impossible. I really have no clue what they expect you to do against Ken with these kind of characters. I have no answers. I have no tools or answers to get past safe mode mid-range bullshit. Because you don't know jack shit about Ken at all. He didn't fucking outplay me in any way. Yes, he did. He didn't even react to anything I did. Yes, he did. 
He just stood mid-range and just kept doing the same shit. No, he didn't, Phil. He was countering against everything that you were throwing at him. So this Ken definitely knows what they're doing. Van Geef beats you with your shitty Zangief. GG's. Compliment the player. Move on. You see that right here? That little Y that you can give the opponent a like? Keep doing that. I can't. There's no way around it. And then when you're in the corner, 100% in his favor, just guess. And everything he does is safe. And if you try to get out, if you get lucky, you do. And if not, you get punished. Well, then again, Phil, every single time you play up against a character like Zangief, you're expecting it to be skillful coming from you. But anytime you win, it's coming incredibly lucky. Also, I've been recording this for about an hour now. Holy fucking shit. So, I don't know. That is, is you know... This is terrible. I feel to me like this character is completely nerfed in this one. And it sucks. I like Zangief, but I'm... How is he nerfed? Like, answer me that question. How in the fuck is Zangief nerfed? Did you read any patch notes to say that he's nerfed? No? Then quit making up bullshit. I'm getting pissed. Because I feel like it's a losing battle. A flowchart Ken can outplay a thinking Zangief. What? <laughs> what the fuck did you just say with that? I'm gonna go back and hear that again. Battle. A flowchart Ken can outplay a thinking Zangief. A thinking Zangief? What the fuck is a thinking Zangief? What in the fuck is that? That just sounds like complete bullshit to me. You're just making shit up because you like, I played Street Fighter. I know the basic fundamentals. I know what I'm talking about. But let me just throw that up. Hold on. I have to dig out of my back pocket where my ass cheek is. Oh, there it is. Thinking Zangief because it's all bullshit just like my gameplay. Uh, on me. Thank you. <laughs> That's exactly a point I was going to bring up with that, but thank you, Mimology, for pointing that out. Also, Lady Gaga, oh, wait, wait. Is that... Oh, okay. I was going to say, is that low-tier god, but it's not. <laughs> I almost got really concerned for a second. <laughs> no dash cancel. Great. And block low. That was mine! I did counter drive impact! No, you didn't, Phil. Nothing. Random one button level three. Yeah, yeah random one button level three. So he knows about modern controls. But here's the thing with that, though, Phil. Modern controls, they don't do a lot more damage than you think it does. But it makes it more accessible for newcomers to play it. So right there, when you're saying, oh yeah, one button level 3 super, it shows right there that you're trying to gatekeep it. Because you kept saying that it's better for people to come into the game, but as soon as you see that, you immediately don't like it and you become salty. So you do not want any newcomers to come and play Street Fighter. It's your fucking game. When, in reality, Phil, this game was not meant for you. Oh, okay, random drive impact, I see. I lose because, you know... What else was I going to do in the corner, right? He was about to scream modern controls. He was just about to say that. Of course! Counter one button drive impact. Yep, he's immediately hating people that play with modern controls. Even though he said that this was great for newcomers. God damn you fucking gatekeeper. Zero effort. Okay, I can't do anything. Yeah, you can't do anything, and you're gonna say that modern controls suck now. I'm calling it now. He's gonna say that the one problem this game has is modern controls. Anyone that thinks they're so good that use modern controls always beat me. The one that knows Street Fighter. Uh, what am I supposed to do? I can't do anything to that. Well, you can't really do much with that, can you, Phil? Nothing I can do! One button level three! Amazing! It's amazing that you can do this online. One button level three. No input required, just mash the button. Yep. 
I already said it once, I'll say it again. He hates modern controls, and he doesn't like anyone new playing this game at all. Wow, what a great fucking player. What a piece of shit. <laughs> yeah, what a piece of shit for someone that doesn't know fighting games like you supposedly do, and they're using modern controls because they want to play the game and have fun online. Wow, what a massive piece of shit for that. Mm-hmm. Shut the fuck up, Phil, and learn to get good. That way, people that actually do use modern controls against you won't beat you. But you'll still get beaten by people with modern controls because you are a pathetic excuse of a fighting game player. Get fucked. What a piece of shit. That's unbelievable. Yeah, it's so unbelievable that they allowed people. Capcom actually put in a, like a gameplay mechanic where you can use modern controls. Yeah, fuck Capcom for that, right? Them trying to cater to a new audience? Making more money? Yeah, fuck them, right? Drink your water and chew it like a little piggy that you are. Everything one button input. No effort whatsoever. It's so- Even though you have no effort in your gameplay. So you're one to talk. Salty as fuck. Yes, yes he is. It's like pure salt. All you could taste was salt. <laughs> yes, that's all I could taste is just salt right now. Hey, look, you're going up against a Luke with classic controls, but you're still going to get your ass kicked. Whoopsie. Oh, my. Dinley Icebox. Yeah, pesky little squirt. <laughs> he is a pesky little squirt, but we love Luke. My God, I have no bar. I'm so fucked. I already lost a round. Oh, my God. It's like mistake after mistake. Yeah, completely outplayed. Yeah, now you're saying you're outplayed because I think someone called you out saying, Hey, Phil, you're being too harsh. Or it could be up against that fucking modern control player that they said you're being too harsh. Now they're like, yeah, I got outplayed. And you can just tell he's not being sincere with it. It sounds very sarcastic in tone. Just mid-level, throw fireball, anti-air. Can't get in on loot. All these characters who play that way, I can't get in on them with Zangief. No, because you completely suck at Zangief. That's it, I do one. Oh, random drive impact. Done. Round over. How is it random? He timed it well, Phil. On a random drive impact. I hate drive impact. I but yet, you keep using the drive meter for moves. So, you don't hate drive impact. You hate it when other people use it. I really do. It's so fucking stupid. Then why did you play Street Fighter 6, Phil? Why did you play the fucking betas? Was it because Street Fighter was in the name and your PP got hard and you had to play it immediately? That's the reason why. You're blinded by nostalgia, and as soon as Capcom puts anything new into the game, like Drive Impact, you immediately become salty that everyone else can use it but you. Goddamn, get fucked even more. 360, I had won. The game was already won. What? He instant recovered! Yes, he did, because... Luke is a quick character. He recovered quickly and beat you with a dragon punch. He instant recovered from his fireball and easily did an anti-air. It was literally instant recovery. There was no actual way to hit him after the fireball. They nope, because Zangief is too slow. They gave him an instant recovery fireball. What? I love how immediately he looks at the camera, look at, hey guys, look, I'm being fine. Whoa! He looks at the camera, and you see the dead eyes in his. <laughs> you just see that his soul isn't even there. He's looking at you with dead eyes. That's the thing that Cat has to look at every night. Hey, look, another Ryu. You know, the character he can't play as very well. And that's how you use Ryu, Phil. This guy, Shma, knows full well how to play as Ryu. So, GG's to that Ryu player. 
I'd love to know why my drive meter ran out so fast when I did one dash cancel and that was it. Because when you got attacked, it kept draining your drive pad pack meter. It kept draining it. Then you tried to use a certain move, drained it completely. That's another reason why you had no meter. What I did, I- Yeah, just one drive it, drive cancel, holy shit. 360. Oh hey, it's the boy, Jamie. Trizzy is playing as the boy. Would have punished. The game gives me level two fucking super. So now he gets a giant punish combo unearned because my fucking stupid joystick says you did level two super. Hey, you know how he said he never blamed his equipment? Well, he's blaming his equipment. No, I did fucking not. No stick revives. Please stop talking about my arcade stick. Stop. It's not my arcade stick. He's like, oh, is it your It's not my fucking arcade stick. Stop it. Really, it's me. <laughs> Thank you, flashback. I was just about to mention that. See, there you go. That's how you can get yourself out of the corner, but you kind of took your opponent out of the corner, so get fucked. Oh my god, random wake up super, which obviously if I blocked, I won. You wouldn't have won that because you were in the middle of attacking. You got fucked. Oh my god. Fuck this. Jamie. Fuck this. Fuck. Fuck this. Fuck this. <laughs> Unbelievable bullshit. How's it bullshit when that Jamie whooped your ass? Oh my god. Yeah, oh my god. This. This was just a beautiful mountain assault. I feel like I just got to the very tippity top, and there's even more fucking salt to be had to climb. Holy fucking shit. This was an experience, man. How long had I recorded this for? Oh, fuck me, an hour and 12 minutes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> oh, God, I think I need to go to a doctor for all that salt I had to ingest. <laughs> oh. So after that treacherous journey through that mountain of salt known as Street Fighter 6, goddamn, so he went out to play Tears of the Kingdom, and now he's trying to rush it as quickly as humanly possible due to the fact that he is getting close to the end game, so he doesn't really give a shit about it. But yet for some reason, he's blaming Nintendo for ruining his business. Like, how the fuck can you come up with that many excuses? I think the salt got into his brain. So my first experience with Firehouse subs, first time I ever had them, big thumbs up. Yep, so now he's just talking about food, because food makes his PP even harder, besides Street Fighter VI. Really, really, really good. Um, I would- Yeah, I think the gin is really getting into his head right now. I'd say, probably on par with Jersey Mike's. Like, I would say right now, I would say Firehouse and Jersey Mike's are tied in my head, because it was that dang good. You know, if he loves Firehouse subs from what he's talking about, why doesn't he order that more? Oh. Right, no. He's craving Big Macs, Quarter Pounders, Baconators. He's craving the greasy foods. No, Chad, I did not record a new DSP Tries It. It's called My Life, and I'm not going to have to document every single moment of my life. So, let me get this straight. You don't do DSP Tries It anymore, but on your Reacts channel, there's Feasting with Phil, which is just another iteration of DSP Tries It. So, you still do DSP Tries It, but you're letting those delusions of grandeur get to your head again for the youtube i don't give a shit yes you do because those are actually giving you a lot more money but hell didn't you just say like when you were doing review bras video on your reacts channel that you claimed that he took inspiration from dsp tries it again you still love to think about dsp tries it on an everyday basis so no i did not record my dinner tonight for dsp tries it that's ridiculous god that just sounds completely stupid. It, but then again, you've always done that. When Leanna was making food for you, and vice versa, you did that for a long time. It's still up on your React channel, Phil. Uh, we're going to craft food, and then we're going to go to the dungeon. I don't give a shit. I really don't at this point. Yep, he's rushing through. He doesn't give a fuck about finding anything to help out his defenses, offenses, or health. He just wants to finish this game so he can drop it forever. So he can make up bullshit excuses when he does his top 10 best and worst list. At this point, this game is so fucking tedious and time-wasting and such a disrespectful game to anyone who fucking just wants to play a game and have fun. Wait, how is this game disrespectful for anyone having fun? This game is fun. 
it has a lot of things to offer to implement more ways to have fun with it. So, when you're saying that it's disrespectful, it's disrespectful when you fucking play it, because you're not having fun with it at all. Even though you said that this game provided meaningful content, which it clearly doesn't, and you don't know what the word meaningful means, you're just shitting on anybody that likes this. It's the same thing with Final Fantasy XVI. If people like the side content, you shat on them every single chance that you got. Now, I'm just not going to waste any more time on it. I just want to beat it. I just want to beat it and drop it forever so I can delete it from my Switch. Seriously, I'm sorry, but the, the game has high highs, and then you do anything that's a side quest. It's like, dude, it's like fucking, I want to watch grass grow. So, confirmed, Phil hates side content. Like I said in my last video, he clearly does not like side content. So, this just further justified my reasons. I want to go paint a giant fucking fence. Then again, you would probably get like one fucking plank of wood and call it quits because you're that fucking lazy. I would rather... <laughs> what else is really boring? I'd like to watch a pot of water boil before I would do the side quest in this fucking game. They are... I would rather watch the Level 1 podcast rather than do something productive in my life, being make myself incredibly fucking bored. So boring. And so yeah, like your podcast. Such a waste of my goddamn time. It's so stupid. <laughs> Phil, watching you play this game is a complete waste of time, and it's incredibly fucking boring. So you could have just said something about yourself, you know, jab at yourself, but no, you want to make a jab at everybody else and a jab at other things that people have to do on an everyday basis. Yes, that's what I want to do. I want to search the entire fucking map to find where these stable people are, to get them to go wake up the fucking fairy, to just be told that I don't have a complete set and it's, an, it's a crappy upgrade. Fuck you! Even though it's not a crappy upgrade and you're just making generalizations about side content yet again. I'm not wasting my time on your bullshit anymore, Nintendo. I'm going to finish the game. So this is Nintendo's fault? It's clear as day, you don't know anything about game development at all. Because this game was not meant for you. It was meant for consumers. And the people that buy it, the consumer, can either have fun with it or do whatever they want with it. What you're doing is the complete opposite of what Nintendo wanted you to do. Okay? You've, you've tested my patience for the last time. Even though you spent 45 to 47, 48 hours on this game. So that's on you. Alright guys, heading into the second half of tonight's stream, thanks to everyone chilling, it would be great if you enjoy the stream, if you are having the, uh, nice chill vibes here with me tonight, if you could- <laughs> If you're having chill vibes, four dollars, two dollars is the highest tip, barely any super chats and members, yeah, great chill stream, Phil. Support it, as you can see, currently we have uh, Lord Prince Albert as the top super chatter, and anonymous- <laughs> I just pointed that out, me apology. Miss Tip is the top tipper, and it's a very slow night for support, so it would be great if we could get some more in the next hour. Thanks. Yeah, which will never fucking happen. Oh no, there's lightning! <laughs> it's more fetch quests. They want me to go fetch body parts and bring them back. <laughs> well, yeah, because that's part of the main story, and you're getting salty about it. Phil, for the love of fucking God, if you really like this game, you wouldn't complain about it! <laughs> yeah, now he's like, crying, crocodile tears, going, I don't want to play this shit game anymore! I mean, I love Zelda, what are you talking about? <laughs> Cry me a river, you fucking bitch. <laughs> what did I ever do? There's a lot of things that you've done, Phil, and a lot of things that should have you being punched in the face repeatedly. What did I ever do to deserve this kind of treatment? Oh, I don't know. A lot of things. But then again, you're gonna blame Nintendo for this? Seriously? No, Nintendo, I like your games. Why are you doing this to me? Why do you want me to go do more fetch questing? I because that is what Zelda is mostly known for. There are times in other Zelda games before this one, which were side content, fetch quests. It's been a staple to Zelda for a good long while. And you just now realized it and you don't like it anymore because you don't like long games. You don't like games that provides you with a copious amounts of content. Instead, you just want to cry copious amounts of tears because Tears of the Kingdom is a good game. But you still want to cry about how it's too long and I want to move on to other games. Go back to games that nobody cares about. I'm 50 hours into your game. I've had enough. I just want... Yeah, you had enough of anything good. I want to like finish it. 
Oh. If you want to finish it, stop fucking being a little bitch. Stop doing Street Fighter. Stop doing Final Fantasy 16 because it's clear as day you don't like that game. And just focus on finishing that game. Do what Asmongold said. Just focus on finishing the game. Move on to the next one. Do the same thing over and over and over and over again until you finish all those games that you have on your fucking backlog. Jack Ack said... Jesus Christ. Did a $10 super chat. Thank you so much. He says, you wanted to enjoy their game. All they did is leave you in tears. Maybe that's actually the point. Tears are a part of the game. Yeah, but it's Tears of the Kingdom. Yeah, he's trying to make a joke about it, which it wasn't really funny, but Phil wants to over-explain some bullshit. I'm not part of the kingdom. I'm the person who bought the game to play it. If I was part of the kingdom, then it would make sense, but I'm gamer. It's not supposed to be Zelda Tears of the Gamer. Wow, you thought about this way too fucking hard, Phil. Like, Jesus Christ. <laughs> How is it that you think that you're so intelligent making this stupid comparison? Or this analogy? Right? It's supposed to be Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Like... He was still that on about this? Holy shit. Like, seriously, at this point, you're 50 hours into the game. They thought, oh, now it's time for a fetch quest, right? Well, yeah, because if you want to beat the final boss, you have to do it. Like, oh, now it's time for a fetch quest. You know, 50 hours in, is this is definitely when I feel like doing that. Because that's what they intended for you to do if you want to finish the game. <laughs> what, what a pertinent time for that fetch quest. I'm a gamer. I'm here to play games and chill with you guys with games and have fun with games. That's my primary focus. That's what I want to do as a content creator. Yeah, but he really doesn't want to do it. Anytime a game offers more content for him, he immediately hates it. He wants to rush and finish Tears of the Kingdom. He thought he was done with it, but no, he was never done with it. Instead, he has to do something menial like a fetch quest and boo-hoo-hoo. -hoo. Go cry into your fucking bottle of gin and just shut the fuck up. I did not really expect this whole entire video to just be contained with Street Fighter salt spewing out of Phil's mouth as he kept sweating copious amounts of sodium. It was truly a sight to see where Phil decides to go into ranked as Zangief claiming that he knows Zangief, only for him to make a variety of excuses along the way. It's just a pure delight to see him complain so much about this game, even though he's being outplayed every single time. It's like he took no one's advice seriously, especially when it came to learning in the lab, learning by training the character, or just doing the other side stuff like the arcade mode or the world tour mode while trying to learn all these characters. Like, Jesus Christ, dude. What more can you really say about a man that entire his whole entire existence on this channel is just to become incredibly salty over online Street Fighter? At the same time, though, it also comes as no surprise that Phil would blame Nintendo or any company that makes a game really long while adding in content to extend the game's playtime and just becomes incredibly fucking salty about it, say that the game shouldn't be that long because they added in a fetch quest. Phil, you claim to be a Zelda fan, you know that they have fetch quests in there, and that you know that's what you need to do in order to progress in the story or just progress in anything. My god, stop complaining about something that Nintendo has been doing for years and just move the fuck on. But with that said and done, we are going to move on with the beloved Phil Prayer. Deliver us from the dents. Deliver us from the pay pigs. Deliver us from the pignosis. May we never become dented. May we never become beggars like Dark Side Phil. And oh, for the love of God, may we never have that copious amount of salt for the entirety of Street Fighter VI when we play as a character trying to learn them. Holy fucking shit. Amen.